Well, I thought I'd make a quick recording with a little reflection on how the first exam went. And I think if you look at the grade distribution, you can see that not all of the scores necessarily were ideal. We have a group of students who should be pretty satisfied. I know that there are some students in the B range who wish they'd done a little better, and I know that you will do better on the next exam. Um, but what I'm more worried about are the students that did less than passing work. And also, I think students that are in the D range are going to be really able to move up into the C range on their next exam, and from the C range, definitely students earning those grades on the first midterm should be able to move up into the B range on their next test. So I did want to encourage you to keep up your spirits, uh, look to the future, complete the exam wrapper for me by Monday, and really reflect on how you can spend your time better, because I know you're putting time in, how can you spend your time to better improve your performance on the test? And I'm happy to meet with any of you. So if you don't recognize the background that you see in this video, then it means you haven't yet been to my office. Only a handful of students really have come to my office hours, and I'm here to help you. So come in with questions you have. Remember that there's tutoring services offered down in the Commons, and you can check on Blackboard for that schedule. Remember also that we have supplemental instruction going on. Melissa comes to our class. She's been successful in the biology classes, and she can help you too to hone your study skills and prepare better for that next test. So look forward. You can still be successful this semester. We've had just one test. Make sure that you're using lab to help you, not to hurt you. You have to do well on all those quizzes. You need to be getting uh, B's and A's in order to have the lab help you out. Make sure that you complete all of your lab write-ups. Do them early and read through that draft and create a final draft with revisions before you turn it in. So make everything that you do for this class really count. Really put in your undivided attention, your undivided time, and remember that you're also building your knowledge for future semesters. And so with that, I'd like to share with you something that I've been meaning to show you, really, I've carried it around since the first day of class. I got this fortune from a fortune cookie this summer. And what it says is, facts are cheap, information is plentiful, but knowledge is precious. And I want you to reflect on that. Think forward about how what you do this semester in this class can lead you to success, not just this semester, but also in your future and in your future career. And don't lose hope. <laughs> Keep up your spirits. Everybody is still in a position where you can pass the class as long as you've been attending lab, completing assignments. But have it all come together, bring it together, and please bring me both your exam wrapper with your reflections and also bring to me that mid-semester survey so that I can see how the class is really working for you. And I'll see you in the lecture room.